bottom, bitch. Adele. You know who you are. Adele. I gotta let the world know about my bottom, bitch. I gotta let them know. It wouldn't be right if I put Adele. this mixtape out. Fresh. It Adele. don't show her no love. Adele. Adele. Huh. Let me tell y'all about it. So, um, uh, he got this new hit single, Girls, Girls, Girls. Mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit about that. Uh, pretty much, you know, I just wanted to come up with a song that that are pretty much applied to different type of crowds and, you know, something that, you know, black folks can relate to, white folks, different races and everything, and I wanted to do something different from what I normally do. That's pretty much the reason why I got the, the girl, her name is Erin, singing on it. Um, it's, just a, it's just a song about, you know, lesbians being proud of who they are you know and not hiding anything so it's gonna be a hit i think we got one so you know that's what's up when can we expect that um i plan on releasing girls maybe in the next next two weeks the next two weeks uh it's already been recorded it's already been mixed down you know the next step is getting it mastered and uh, it should be that master by next week. Then we're going to pretty much put it out there. It's going to be on iTunes. You know, it's actually the first single off of my mixtape, Seek Taken. So you'll be able to download it and purchase it. It's gonna, we're going to put it on that Pip and all that. So it'll all be right. our next two weeks. All right, so you mentioned the mixtape, um, Seek Taken. Mm -hmm. Tell us all what's Tell us uh, what's that? Like, who, who gonna be featured on the mixtape when it's coming out, when it's gonna drop? Um, right now, the only features that I have, one of my niggas out of Memphis, she, she go by Stout. Uh, she's on the mixtape. Uh, I have a local rapper around here in Jackson, Tennessee, named VBS. I got him on the mixtape. Um, I, I didn't want to put too many features on it because I wanted it to be pretty much about me. It's my second mixtape. Um, I decided to call it Seek Taken because I know a lot of people that's in the music industry or in doing anything, whether it's acting, modeling, and all that. Like, the game is cutthroat. And, you know, you deal with a lot of people that bullshit you on, along the way. And so I just wanted to put it out there, like, when I get to the place where I want to be, you know, all them people that done bullshit me along the way and then they said, oh, I... Oh, sure, we're going to do this, do that, and shit. You call them to get some business going and shit, and they ain't nowhere to be found, you know. I'm going to tell them to see you taken, you know, shit. It's pretty much, you pretty much not jumping on my bandwagon. I mean, you'll meet a lot of people in this industry and shit. They don't want to fight with you, I mean, fight for you and shit, you know, on the way to the top. But when you get there, everybody want to pull on your coattail and shit. But can't sit here. That's what it's about. All right, tell us who is Shorty Fresh? Shorty Fresh is pretty much, uh, I mean, somebody that loves all kind of music. You know, Shorty Fresh, you know, that name, the name Shorty came around first, I say about, about four or five years ago. And the reason I decided to go with the name Shorty is because you get a lot of people in this industry and you know they might be biased towards females so like just put it this way if it was an event going on and you seen a piece of paper and it had a list of people who's going to be performing you know it might be guys or other people like oh I don't want to see no female but if you see the name shorty on a piece of paper you don't know if it's a guy or a girl so that's where that came in at. Fresh came in, you know, I just put that at the end of it actually a few months ago because I mean, shit, that's me, I stay fresh, so why not? How did you end up in Tennessee? You know, you always talk about, you know, you from Oakland, raised in the Bay. How did you end up in Tennessee? Uh, I ended up in Tennessee because of, I played basketball. I went to the JUCO in Illinois. Shout out to Belleville, East St. Louis. St. Louis and all that. When I was out there, they showed me mad love. Um, I played juco ball in Illinois, like I said. And I was, I mean, I was out there killing and stuff, but, you know, at the time, I was young and just not thinking. You know, I pretty much let my coach 
run everything as far as my classes and everything. I actually signed to go play Division One basketball at Mississippi State, but you know it didn't work out. So at the last minute, I was just like, I called up a coach that was recruiting me for about two years, and I was like, just make it happen. He came down, picked me up, and now I'm here. Where do you see your movement going? The whole judge me not movement, team super like where do you see your movement going? Um, right now I don't wanna do too many things at once because it's hard to focus on so many things. But right now, you know, it's just the music, but then I I see I see Judge Me Not branching off to other things as far as like different foundations for people. Who you know that's afraid to come out the closet? Who you know thinks thinks is wrong? Pretty much to educate people, because I mean, if you're not educated on something, you know that's where the discrimination comes. So not only just foundations, you know, I plan to have my own record label to where I can go back, you know, to different places and actually help people out that probably, you know, don't have the money to actually get out there and promote themselves and network and all of that. Um, I want to do t-shirt lines, acting, I mean, pretty much anything that got to do with entertainment. Uh, I know this kind of off the chart, but uh, <laughs> do you remember your first kiss with a girl? Uh, of course, I mean, who don't? I remember it, I mean, I don't, I don't feel like elaborating on it, but of course I remember it. I mean, it was a life-changing <laughs> situation, but I mean, shit. Sure. All right, you know. Mom, would you like to touch on a little bit on your coming out story? You say what? Yeah, you know, Mom, would you like to touch on a little bit of your coming out uh, story? Sure, I mean, I think it's a great story. We, we were born that way. You know, some people, they just figure it out at a younger age. Some people, it takes time. You know, with me, it took time because I wasn't really, my eyes wasn't open to it. Um, but when it, when it came, I mean, it made some people it takes time. You know, with me, it took time because I wasn't really, my eyes wasn't open to it. Um, but when it, when it came, I mean, it, it, it just hit me fast. It was, I had a conversation with a girl. We got to rapping. <laughs> and that's how it happened. But, uh, I remember being there, I was at Buffalo Wild Wings. Chopping up with this girl, and all she had to do was touch me, and it was over. That's how it happened. <laughs> how do you feel like society in the mainstream industry would accept a dominant lesbian rapper? It's crazy because I feel like the industry isn't ready. Like, the industry. You know, it seems like they are they are okay with two feminine women, you know, whether they kissing on stage or in the videos and all that. But, you know, if it's somebody, if it was a stud, I, I don't think that they're ready. I don't know if they are, I don't know what it is. Maybe, I, I don't know if they intimidated, because I mean, the industry is pretty much ran by men. I don't know if they're intimidated or they just not open-minded, but. I mean, it's going to come a time when somebody is going to break that barrier. I mean, it's going to happen, and then once that happens, it's going to be so... I mean, the talent is just going to be crazy, because, I mean, you got a lot of, you know, not only studs, just lesbians, period, that are so artistic in different ways. You know, I, I feel like once that one person break through, it's going to open up the door for everything. Like, people talk about People talk about it so much about how everybody sound the same, everybody different. I mean, I mean, not different, but pretty much everybody sound the same with music. Everybody looks the same, just the same, and all that. Well, why not let somebody from a whole different world come in? It doesn't have to always be two feminine women because I mean, if you're gonna put the lesbian community out there, you know, put it out there the right way. Are there any mainstream artists you'd like to work with in the future? Man, shit. I really, really, really wanna, I have to say J. Cole. Uh, J. Cole, I mean, he, he just perfect. Uh, 
besides him, as far as females, I would love to work with Missy. I think Missy, she pretty much perfect too. I mean, I'm, I'm down to work with everybody, but I have to say J. Cole for the male and uh, Missy for the female. Any lesbian rappers who you put that thing down you like to work with? Um, I would like to work with, as far as lesbian, I mean, it's a pretty much group of rainbow noise and shit. I like to work with them. I mean, they out of Las Vegas, you know, that's my city. So, of course, I want to I fuck with them. And they also, I mean, they show me love. So, I have to say them. You know, I mean, I don't, I know it's a whole bunch out there. But, like, if I'm doing something as far as writing or, you know, just creating some kind of product, I try my best not to listen to anybody, whether if it's mainstream or underground, just simple fact that I want my stuff to be original, you know, so. But Rainbow Noise, I have to say, I'd like to work with them. Um, who are some of your musical influences? Well, my number one musical influence is my sister. You know, her name is Shayana, shout out to her. You know, her because she the one that pretty much that got me into music. Um, as I was younger, I used to run around with my basketball and all that, and she used to be the one that's into music and writing and all that. And then, you know, she kind of one day she just set me down and, Janae, I wrote this song for you or whatever. I mean, ever since then, you know, she actually taught me how to write, you know. It came to a point she was writing my stuff and then she's like, nah, you're gonna learn how to write you know, on your own, and I actually, I thank her for that, because, I mean, she could be just writing my stuff, and then I'm at this point right now to where I'm looking for somebody, but she she's my biggest influence. <clears throat> and then, um, I have to say, I mean, of course, I mean, I'm a West Coast nigga, of course, Tupac. Uh, a lot of people may laugh and all that, but I fucked with Bow Wow. You know, Bow Wow, I fucked with him because you know, he, he's been doing it for so long that like if you watch his show, he's gonna actually put on the show. He's not gonna just stand there and just rap. I like artists that, you know, if I'm at a show, I'm gonna see a show. I mean, if you just gonna stand there and rap, I mean, I can just be at home, save my money, and just listen to the CD. So, I have to say him. Yeah. Last thing, this is a um, political view <laughs> on gay marriages. Um, and you know, that's a touchy subject, but I don't know why. I mean, shit, at the end of the day, you know, only God can judge you. So anybody should be able to be mar get married. It's, you know, you should, you should be able to marry the person you love, regardless of the race, sex, and all of that. So I would, like I said, anybody, anybody should be able to be, get married. You know, a lot of people that's against it, for what? Like, you're not the one that's about to get married. You're not the one that's about to sign the paper. So why should it matter? You know, they just, I just feel like, you know, they make a big deal out of something. Nobody then, you know, a lot of people want to judge and say, oh, this is in the Bible, that's in the Bible. But on some real shit, did you wait till you, get, you got married to have sex? I mean, how many people can say, yeah? So at the end of the day, if you love that person, you should be able to marry that person, pretty much. That's just about it. If you got a problem, I'll fuck your ass up. <laughs> Ooh, I'm hot. All right, how can we follow you, find you? Uh, you can find me on Twitter, at Shorty Fresh. Uh, you can also check out my YouTube page at Watch Shorty Fresh. Uh, you can actually download, you know, I got free music on my SoundCloud backslash Shorty Fresh Music. That's pretty much right now. I mean, I'm all over the internet, but I say the best way to actually contact me and all that is on my Twitter. Uh, if anybody, you know, want to book me in or, you know, just want to collab or anything like that, just email me at bookshortyfresh at gmail.com and shit, I'll get back ASAP. A woman, you know I be 
Superman fly. Niggas hating, I can see it in they eyes. They talk about the good life, I live good up in they eyes. My bitch don't trip by me, not calling all the time. She know I got.